Hey guys, Steve Harris here with Muse Themes. Today we're looking at wireframes. This is a new product category for us and something we're really excited about. Wireframes are basically unstyled themes that are fully responsive. What you can do then is just simply drop your content in, your images or your text, or if you want, you could copy elements out of the wireframes to simplify your responsive build. We figured since you're a designer, you probably want to handle the styling aspect of the site yourself. But these days, the hardest part of working in Muse is building in responsive functionality. And that's where these come in. This is an experimental product though, and we wanted to release it and see what you guys thought and see how you best use the wireframes. And based on your feedback, we can modify the way that we deliver these or package these wireframes to make it easier to work with. So I'm here on the wireframes page, and if I click on our demo, let's have a look. So you can see this is just a basic Muse site. These are the default Muse widget images. And this is a simple landing page format. But if I go up to the navigation at the top, I can click on a different page. And you can see we've got this framework kind of built for you. And the best part of it, of course, all of the responsive aspects of this is completely done for you. These use a fixed width approach. So you've got multiple fixed width breakpoints and one fluid breakpoint for your mobile size. As you can see, we've got a whole bunch of different layouts, some long article layouts, and we've got some contact page layouts that use forms and that sort of thing. So it's a great pack and there's lots that you can do with this. So when you download the wireframes file, you'll see here in the folder, you just get a simple Muse file. There are no assets included with this. So if we double click on it, it opens up in Muse and it says there are three assets that are missing. Well, these assets are just the Muse Themes logo, which you're probably not going to use anyway, and in a couple social media filler icons that we've used, but they are not assets that you'll need at all. So it doesn't matter that they are missing. So once you've opened it up, you'll see that the structure of the file here is we have a couple of master pages, and these pages just basically store the navigation we've used for our demo here. And they also have our footer element in master two. There you go, there's our footer. So all of the different frameworks are here on the right side. And we have kind of descriptive names for them, landing full screen, landing long, image blocks right, and they're all various different layouts. So if you're going to use one of these layouts in your site, you just wanna make sure that you're using the same breakpoint system that we've used in this file. So if I open up this page here, you'll see that the breakpoints along the top are these specified amounts or specified numbers. In your site, you're going to want to make sure that you use the same exact breakpoint so that you can get all of the responsive functionality that we've built into the file. You could also build a brand new site right from this actual framework file or this wireframe file. And the way that we could do that or that I like to do that is first, let's just duplicate one of these pages. So we've got a duplicate page here. I'm going to move it up to the top. I'm going to rename this page and just call it something like home. I'm going to then double click into the page and I want to select everything. So I'll just do command A and I'm going to delete everything. So we've got just this kind of bare single page that we can go ahead and add our content to. Now, because I've seen some different layouts in the frameworks file that I like, I might want to pick and choose what I want to include. So for example, if I go to this image blocks, right? And I like this kind of hero headline area. I could copy this like that, go back to the home page, and then I'm going to paste it in place in this case because it's right at the top and it'll be in the perfect spot. So there, we've got this headline and hero image and all the responsive functionality is built right in. So then let's say the next thing we want to include isn't this type of style that we have in this framework. Let's pick something else. So we'll go to this landing page long. Let's say we want this three box area with this kind of title. So we could copy that. We can go back to our page and let's paste that in below. So paste. Now in this case, it's not going to know where to come in properly. So you're going to have to do a little bit of work to arrange this. So I'm going to put it right there. And then remember, you'll just need to work through your breakpoints before you deselect this pack of elements or this selection of elements and drag them all into the appropriate spot on each breakpoint. We actually have to do this as well with our stacks file. So once you're done arranging it in the perfect spots, these all look pretty good. They came in pretty close. One more here. Okay, perfect. There you go. So now we've got a good base of a site built and you can see if I preview this in the browser, that when I shrink the browser down, 
all the responsive aspect of the site is done for us. So now what we could do then is begin to just populate our content. So if you've worked with Muse before, this should be pretty easy for you, but simply double click into headlines, change titles as you wish. Let's drop in some images. So we've tried to be very careful about using placed or filled images strategically. So these are image frames, which are placed images. So what we can do there is go into a folder that has some images. I've got some here. And you can just drag and drop those images right into those frames. So let's drag those in and perfect. So you can see we've got some images added in there. For this hero area here, because it's a background image due to the scaling properties of it, we'll need to go up to fill and select add image. And let's fill it with an image. I've got something here. Let's go with this one. And we could set the scaling to scale the fill. There you go. So we've got a hero in. So you can see that frameworks can be used to build a site really quickly. And you don't need to fuss around with the responsive aspect of working in Muse. I think this is a great start, but we're really anxious to hear your feedback and to hear how we can best package these files up to make it easy for you to use. Thanks again for watching and best of luck with our wireframes.